Hello, and welcome to another episode of TSF Reviews. Today, Amir and I are going to be taking on the animated Netflix show, Tresse. Tresse is a Filipino-based uh, animated show. It was first a comic book back in 2005, and it's um, quite a local legend, uh, comic book-wise. And now it's finally an animated show on Netflix. Amr, take it away. Tell me what you thought about this show and um, how you, you mm. like this Filipino hospitality, because I'm half Filipino, just for the record. Okay, time to pick a fight with this guy. But like, um, for a show, for, let's start off with, uh, I am so happy that I could watch something that isn't Japanese inspired. Uh, not that there are no animes like that out there, but I've seen so many animes which take their references from Japanese culture. Not that I have anything against Japanese culture, obviously, but it's a nice change of pace to have another culture. Just specifically that, not an interpretation of it, but specifically that. Now, what do I mean by that? Like the Filipino theme. I'm talking about the entire visuals of the anime, all the visual, uh, what should I call them? Communication, the art or whatever, the music, the language, like the show is in Filipino language. If you want to watch it, I made the dumb mistake of not checking and I watched it in English, but even when you watch it in English, I can never forget those moments where they start cursing. They just revert back to Filipino. That's my best part. Okay, so like, do you want to add anything over here? I, 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 I would like to add something yeah, regarding this. The detail to the Filipino culture in this was amazing. I go back and forth, you know, holidays and all that. And like, even down to like, the broom, like, they could have used a generic broom, you know, Western broom, no one would have noticed. But then they use that specific, that jaru over there. And that is just like... <laughs> <laughs> no, like that is exactly how the jaru is over there. They're down to the handle and everything, the attention to detail. Even in the public transportation, we have jeepneys over there, which is like buses, but limousines. And they're like, like, oh, it's, I, I have something to say about that. That scene where the captain is in the jeepney and he's passing on the money. That is exactly. You're taking how, away the moment I wanted to talk about. Dude, that away. was my, that was my, well, there are so many moments in there. Like there's moments where you're they're standing in a cafe or something and you I can see the plastic chairs like the ones I have over here back home. There's so many authentic references. Oh, you can really? I can I can see it. I can I know ten out of ten that this is Philippine stuff. But that policeman waking up in the morning, his morning routine stuff. Dude, there was one thing which was just beyond that I have never seen that before. Because it is so local, I knew that this is probably something that is local. When they're handing over the bus fare, like the guy doesn't even think. He just takes the money, passes it on. That because that's exactly probably how, how... And I was immediately there. I was like, this is yes, public sawari, yeah, full on. All right. I was on to there. This is how public transport is. Public transport life and the daily life is over there. That was my favorite scene out of so many others. The references to local life are they're out of the box there's so many there's my cat the animation there's a now i, I want to move on um okay. towards some of the other stuff all right sure the animation quality is perhaps not on par with the, the mainstream animes that you might like to watch but it is still top notch it is so well done you don't feel that this is you know I kind of don't want to say that word, but like, th th you don't feel that this is a low budget anime. You feel like that this is a double A title or well, in video games, we have the term double A titles or double A games, which are one step down from triple A games. They don't have a huge budget, but you can see that this show did have, or at least some sense of good art. effort or yes. art effort. And when we say effort, we're talking money. Wherever they got their funding from, they utilize it well because the animation will not let you down. 
even if you're expecting and even if i tell you that this is a fully locally made anime you cannot expect what you're expecting you will get better the music the musical score man i i listened to the intro music again and again and i kind of hated it because you know netflix just skips to the next episode doesn't show you the end credits all of it i was smashing my keyboard can let me listen to the music god damn it the musical I, score is nice yeah i need to go back just a second um yeah, yeah. the this animation one thing you talk i really like the animation as well one thing that i am i'm not going to say disappointed but i am interested to know why they um slightly changed from the comic books itself because this looks hybrid western i i would say i don't know my terminology when it comes to anime but i'm going with hybrid western whereas the mm-hmm. comic itself was a slightly different it's uh more manga style i i guess i i don't know how, how to say this but i like this animation over the comic book i haven't read the comics but i've looked through the images i haven't either which is why i have no idea how to feel about that but i kind of get what you're saying but i really the, like the animation i think maybe it's a design choice maybe the, mm. the sometimes when you're making visuals for a comic book they don't reflect well into visuals for a tv screen all right so the show invincible that translation from comic to actual li- what we saw, uh, saw the animated show that was almost flawless almost like 99% mm-hmm. i would say i would say this i mean of course everyone has i mean their own it depends style. it depends on it depends on show to show and comic yeah. to comic like perhaps invincible got lucked out because it is a triple it had it had no it's not about being triple a it probably had an art style which could be easily reflected or very properly reflected in both mediums maybe not uh, all art styles are for all mediums there is no art style which is for all mediums all right so uh, this could be just a design choice but i get what you mean uh, let's just leave it at that because well for whatever reason they did it's still amazing Yeah. The music I've already uh screamed about that. Uh, do you want to add something about the music? Uh no, it's authentic. It's uh um, the musical score. It's in Filipino. That is authentic. I you know. Like the, is is the same you hear you heard back at back at home when you like, go there. What did you expect them to be singing this in the streets? <laughs> no, but it, oh. I I get what you, I get what you mean. <laughs> no, but like uh, but like uh, yeah, I I got okay. that's amazing now let me get into the authenticity another thing this this show language. is very authentic language exactly go on now like i said i'm an i'm the idiot who didn't open the netflix drop box to see that the show is actually in filipino as well i watched it all in english Same. but the places where they do speak filipino it was it was really good um i didn't get to watch the whole show again but i did watch the first episode a little 10 minutes of it in the filipino language uh, the filipino audio the language is also spot on it's like a uh, delivery as well yes. it's not it's a good voice cast it it's it doesn't look like it's not forced it was just added exactly exactly it's what i will forced. say is if you do not mind watching an anime in a language which is not your first language or you know or in english do watch it in filipino if you like watching anime which are in a different language with subtitles of course subtitles are there even if you don't speak it you will understand watch it in filipino because this was mwah. now there is one last thing that i want to say before i get into the main thing which we're both going to talk about the names of the characters like this isn't this hasn't this has something to do with the show but at the same time it could have something to do with the local filipino history as well which is the names of the characters they are rooted in spanish like for example let's take our main lead character alexandra trese that's a spanish name the police chief's name is uh, guerrera uh, uh, yeah guerrera there yeah guerrera these are spanish names now the reason that is as the city of manila 
Don't go there. Is in, racist. Yeah. Don't be racist. <laughs> What's racist about it? No, I'm just like kidding. here's the here's look here's the thing here's the thing. Uh, the reason I'm so you know you know I'm a history buff, right? The reason is let me educate this, you. Let yeah. me educate you today. Before World War II, before the Japanese came and you know invaded the Philippines, the Spanish mm-hmm. were there. And we've been. I know, I know. Will you let me speak? I know the Spanish were there. The reason the city of Manila exists, I don't know if it existed back before they came, but the Spanish, that was the center of the Spanish spice trade before the British came into the region and basically took over. And most primarily, the city of Hong Kong was formed by the British, which then became the primary center. But even still, Manila was still a very big center and it was predominantly Spanish. I'm not talking about just Spanish colonists. I'm talking because uh, Spanish did things a little bit differently. I don't want to get into too much in uh, talk about colonialism because we all know how shit that is. Um, I hate it. But the Spanish did do one thing which is different from the way the British and uh, maybe the French did. They mingled with the local communities a lot. Like, uh, even to a point that they wouldn't marry into it and it, it wouldn't be super segregated. It would be segregated, but it wouldn't be like, you know, you have this hard, solid line. So you have people in South America, for example, they can trace their lineage back to Native Americans, even though they are actually, they have Spanish names and they have Spanish language or Spanish rooted language or Latin rooted language they still can trace their lineage back because the Spanish were more okay with, you know, letting their people mingle with the local population. So like, I can see that reference over here. And as a history buff, that really, really just gets me going. Of course, I don't know. I don't know much. I know a little bit, but I don't know close to anything about the history of the Philippines. But this show got me inspired enough that I kind of want to read more about it because once you get like this inside picture, an authentic inside picture. That's what turns me on. And I'm like, I want to read the history of it. And that's one thing that I wanted to point out. It doesn't really have anything to do with the show, but it's one thing about the show that I really liked in that you don't just have, you know, English names. Well, whatever you, it's It's not about English. John and Jack and Jill. What you have, what you have over here is a very authentic look into the Philippine world into their cities, their culture, and not just their, their people as well, because the way they are speaking, the language they are speaking, even if you watch it in the Philippine audio, you will notice they speak a couple of words in English because uh, some of our local languages, they didn't have the, you know, the words for certain inventions or things that were, er that originated in the West. So you notice them saying, speaking in Filipino and then they will just randomly add a word in there, kidnapper, and then go on talking in Philippines, just like we here in Pakistan do. When I'm talking in Urdu, there's some English in there as well, because there are some loopholes, some empty gaps in our language, which do not translate have Urdu words. So we we fill those gaps in with English words, because that's the closest language that we have to a second language. (laughs) And the same goes over here. Although I would feel that maybe Spanish should be more, it shouldn't be in English, but I'm nitpicking over here. I don't know the history and I really want to read up in all about it. Like why that is so. These are questions for me, which have been, which have popped up just because of this show. And I'm going to be doing which my research. We yeah. will be taking on in TSF Travels, me and Amar go to Philippines. For a vacation. Done. Your, do you have the money for to fund my travel? There we go. So like, yeah, okay. I, I'll save up some money, but dude, come on. Are you there? Are you done? Can I come back? Yes. Sorry what about happened? that. He was talking about money and I'm just like, whoops, I'm out of here. Okay. I, I'm also okay. a sheikh, you know, <laughs> for people who don't know. Like, what are you? You're, you're a mix of people from all over the place. Okay, we need to talk about the one last thing, which we both need to talk about. But before we talk about that important thing, yes. is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no, not really. The, 
the, the best part about this show was it's, uh, it was authentic from the beginning from every yeah. single detail in this is authentic uh, yes there is one inaccuracy that's the amount of supernatural things going around we don't have that much <laughs> when when i was over there i didn't see that many okay one or two yes sure yeah. whatever yeah, you didn't not, see any vampires any ghosts any horse people not i mean that, come on maybe the horse people must be there not that many. any pretty girls turning into wind okay i mean Th- that's, that's all that's of them when a, they see me I mean, like, that's nope. We don't want to mess with this guy, and they just like turn into the wind and disappear. And I'm just like all there, all alone. I mean, then again, you are married, so you shouldn't be thinking like that. But I let's wasn't get married into on the my last, last trip, point. Yeah. Let's get into the last point. Yes, let's go. Oh <laughs> boy, this this is where the show uh, suffers. Now, I don't want to make it sound too bad, but I'm gonna be lenient. The show does For- have an interesting. For context, yes. this is a um, six-episode yes. show. That's yes. the only thing you guys need to know. Keep this in your mind. Yeah. Go on, Amr. Keep this in your mind as I say this. That while the show does have an interesting plot, um, a lot of the interest that I had in the show, you can attribute to the local mythical folklore inspirations that the show took. For example, the I, I said vampires, but let's be real. Those vampires, vampires aren't just, uh, I think, this culture. They, they, they're probably based. There are some mythological creatures in this show which uh, look very local inspired, especially your villain. If you haven't watched the show, your primary villain is the God of War and the God of War looks more Filipino than anything else. Like he truly looks like I am looking at a statue come to life of one of their gods from one of the... If you look at the Filipino flag, which we will have here somewhere, you will mm-hmm. notice that it is very, very much a depiction of that. It's like they took the Filipino flag. I Okay, first of all, I don't know if this God of War exists in Filipino folklore. I am not that cultured. I, I live in the village but i'm not that cultured but if you look at the filipino flag you can see the clear visual details of the god of war i'm going to i'm not going to say inspired but i'm going to say inspired by the filipino flag mhm mhm but like uh, yeah go on go on no no you go about on. okay like the point now to get to the point that is what kept my interest in the show because uh, I won't say that I'm done, but I have watched so many animes with Japanese kami and I don't know, Van Helsing, so many references from myth- mythological, mythological references, which I am already familiar with. This was a unique take on a more local culture, which nobody really knows about. And that is what drew my interest for the most part. The plot wrapped around it sort of nicely but because it is six episodes the story will feel rushed it will feel so rushed that the last episode did me bad it did me ugly Mubarak it did me so bad like um, I still have no idea what the hell happened in that last episode even though like the first 15 minutes of that 30 minute episode was the show just trying to wrap everything that is not complete, just smoosh it together. Here you go. Now for that uh, final boss fight, which will happen in the next 15 minutes before the anime ends. And I was sitting like this. I'm like, what? Should I rewind and watch that again? Because I did not catch all of that. And it's even worse because they don't show it to you. You are explained what happens by the villain who tells you everything that has been happening, all the backstory, all that, you know, the climax, everything. Uh, the, everything. He actually tells you in dialogue and it is so difficult to keep up. Now, I'm not trying to diss the show because one thing we need to keep in mind, this is a six episode show. Now, given that it is a six episode show, usually shows aren't that short. 
this feels more like a design choice and more like a budget limitation. Whatever the studio had a budget for, they had to stay in that. Come on, think about it. Castlevania's first season was just four episodes, all right? The only reason we got a second episode with the so second season with 10 episodes was probably because the first four episodes did so good. They were like, yup, we nailed it. This is what we want. But this is a sort of a similar story. They I tried to that. do what they could with what they had. And Naturally. for the part, yeah, for what they did is okay. It's not bad. But obviously when you try to, you know, smush so much story into six episodes, you have to make it like, you have to put it somewhere. You can't just leave empty loopholes. And I appreciate the fact that they try to do that. But in the end, the show does suffer because of it. So you might find the final episode a bit rushed. That is all I will say. And uh, difficult to digest. It does, difficult to digest. It, that is all I will say. It doesn't make the show bad for me because I still enjoyed the show. And as a matter of fact, thank you because I was a kind of hoping this would. If this anime takes off, which it looks like it will, it is quite a good, interesting anime. Maybe next season, they are going to have a better budget, more money, and have a season two with 10 episodes. And the good and thing is they do, you know, uh, <laughs> what's the word? They do show a little part where we know that we're going to get a second season. My uh, my brain can't there work, is right? Teaser. My brain can't. There is teaser enough for yes, it. that's the word I was looking for. Oh, yes. my God. My brain can't English anymore. Yes. There is a small teaser that the story is going to go on. So that's nice. Uh, they do have future ambitions. And I do hope that this anime uh, sees some uh, good reviews, some good feedback. People watch it. They make some money. And they put that money into making a season two, which will be a little bit longer, Hopefully. eight episodes, 10 episodes. That is going to be, that's a good, that's the mid, you know, the studio has, when it's a, a season is 10, 12, eight episodes, you know, that's a design choice. But when it's less than that, you know, that's a budget limitation. And you always know that it is. So yeah, that was the main big thing that I needed to say I before I handed 100%. back to mobile. I agree 100% with whatever you just said. It all makes sense. Yeah. Um, it, it was weird. Okay, so I watched this immediately after it was released. I binged it all. But just before this review, I had to watch the sixth episode, the final episode, all over again, just to make sure that I am, you know, up to date. Because it is difficult. It was a good story. Had this been stretched out over the entire season... It would have been fantastic, but this this part where they tell and not show. Oh, they did show it because it's animation, but you know they told just it a mostly. little bit. A lot of it was just told, told. to you, and I was, was I was trying really hard to keep up. Actually, it, it wasn't it wasn't fun. Apart from that, this see this show was actually quite nice. This yeah. one, obviously, you know. I hope they don't go into that thing where anime studios just start putting fillers. Although there are arcs that could be interesting. But, you know, I hope they don't go into filler territory. I doubt they will. I mean, come on, they're smart people. They don't have a lot of episodes to work with. Yeah. So filler territory is probably for those people who have like a... <laughs> here you go, you're going to make a hundred episodes, here's the money. Yeah. So they're like, okay, we need to fill in these episodes somehow. So, no, yeah. Um, they don't do that much filler. Netflix doesn't do it that much anyways. Because um, nobody likes them. Nobody likes them. And yeah. with this new, stu I'm going to say new studio because I haven't seen any of their previous work. I feel that if this season, if this show takes off, this uh, we will see good stuff coming out of the studio. Especially with this mm -hmm. animation style because it's a very easy on the eyes animation. It's not difficult. It's not overly western it's not overly japanese it's a perfect hybrid you know i like where it is yes it I, I, should, do I that's what i want i want every culture to explore uh, sorry every local community 
to explore their own inspirations and build up from that. Japanese anime didn't take over the world because it's Japanese anime. It's because people started watching it all over the world. They just made anime about their own culture so much that they kept it alive. Yes. All right. And same goes for the Western style because the Western world is very homogeneous. There are no countries when it comes to, you know, culture or I guess culture is the word I'll use. They oh. all have pretty much similar tastes. Mm-hmm. We have tastes like that here in Pakistan. We have very, very small animation studios that are trying to make something good and trying to catch a good lucky break like this is. And um, we are waiting for that I, day, you know, mm, when we can review something from here. You know. <laughs> we are waiting for that day. But like, I really appreciate it when your local artists, your local musicians, sound composers, your voice actors, your game designers, game developers, any creative takes inspiration from their local culture and tries to develop that forward. Because the more you work on something, the more you learn how to, you know, tune this for an audience. And that is what keeps it alive. So I would like to keep I would like them to keep their own style of animation, their own style of music, their own style of anime. Maybe it kicks off in their own country so much that they have a local market now and they are self-sustaining. Yep. That's the dream. Right the dream. There. Yes. Yeah. The dream. Anyways, um, any, if you have anything to add, let me know. Otherwise let's, um, you know, give our final yeah, rating a score out of 10. And oh, I didn't think about that. I have this as a 7.5. Uh, hmm. Taken down. Because, because I always rate because I always rate shows higher than you, so I'm gonna give it an eight. No, I, I came down from an eight and eight point five maybe because of the last episode, the rushed part of it. Like it was it was too rushed. Too uh, that's I, I already was along the line hmm. of eight. This is an eight. It's a good show. It's a good it show. It has its issues. It has its issues. It's of uh, course. Uh, it has its issues, um, but it is a good show. A great show. You will enjoy it. A great yeah. show, in fact. Yes. And, you know, as half Filipino, I am exceptionally proud of this. Like, especially, you know, how authentic this was. Because what, like, I mean, maybe the Japanese shows, the anime, they do this as well. But finally seeing something from, you know, my country, my mom's country, it's, you know, it's interesting. It's like, wow, I've actually been there. I've actually done this stuff. I know what this is like. This, you know, this is how you get your audience. And yeah. Philippines has a big, um, big, you know. It has a big community. I know, there, I know. The anime community, like, you know, people are amazed by this. My cousins are amazed by this. In fact, I, I found out about this through my cousin. And I'm just like, oh, okay, this is something that I should, you know, take care of. My oh, right Spanish here. named cousin, by the way, Miguel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we are, we you're, are like, you're getting me interested to go pick up a history book, Mubarak. Stop. Half of us are um, Spanish named. My grandfather is Ricardo. His brother is Raimundo. And there's... You know, it's, no- always, it's always funny. You have Spanish names. But none of the countries, not in the Philippines, not in... in, in, not in South America, they all have their own language. They I do. mean, you can you can say that it's Spanish, but let's be real. That that is actually racist, all right. They each country has its own form of Spanish or Spanish rooted language. You can you can call it a Latin rooted language because uh, uh, it's one, different. One fun fact yeah. that you would like to know is the north. The more north you go, the more Spanish it is. Towards mm-hmm. the south, you have a more of a Malaysian, Indonesian sort of influence. What What do you call the local language, like the primary local language? The Galuk. The Galuk. Yes, that is the okay. that's the national language. But there are too many languages over there in the the four main. Just provinces. like pa- just like Pakistan, exactly. Like we have we have one mother tongue, Urdu. And it's not rooted anywhere in this country. Everywhere in this country, we have about 17 languages, I counted. We probably is more. It probably has more. It probably is more than that, actually. Philippines has 7,907 islands. 
I'm just going to assume that each island has its own uh, language. Yeah, that's 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 a fair assumption, believe me. Yeah. We will take But that yeah, on um, in TSF yeah, travels. Like, like uh someday. I think this is this is where we should end our review mobaric. Yeah. Uh this has been a very fun review yep. and hopefully there will be more animes from this animation studio. I hope so. Anyways, I would you like to give the closing? Yeah, I would like to say thank give you the closing to all of you for putting up with us too. I know that whenever we're together, <laughs> we can get off track, and you know, we get excited. <laughs> yeah, rainbows. Yeah, geekdom. <laughs> uh, all right, but thank anyways, you for watching, everyone. Yes. Thank you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Do check out this anime if you are still um, on the fence about it. It's you know quite interesting, quite nice. We'll see you next time. This is us signing off. Bye.